Hi everybody, it's Granny J. Clay this Sunday afternoon and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I promised that I would do a show and tell about my carousel horses, so I thought I would do that today. And then next week I will be making something out of clay with you. And also I will have a Granny J. Say probably Monday, which would be tomorrow. Anyway, I wanted to show you some of these. Uh, but one thing I did want to show you before I started is... Um, Yesterday I did a video on the bowls that I make, the ring bowls, and I made one of them out of this uh, old jelly mold, and I, wa I wanted to show you the bottom of that. Isn't that beautiful? I thought that was so pretty. And that's, uh, if you look on my video, that's the one that looks kind of like a, an old, a bathtub, a claw bathtub. That's the bottom of it. So I just wanted to show you what I was talking about in regard to that, since I had shown you some of my other... Uh, glass pieces that I use to make some of the dishes. All right, so let me just put this up here and we'll continue with the horses real quickly. Um, you can do anything you want with these horses. They're just amazing too. As far as the bowls are concerned, um, you can do anything you want with that. those as well as far as prints or mokumegane or stencils. And I just thought I would grab here this up here. This is my mold. I think I've shown this in other videos that I used for the carousel horses. And you know, anybody can push clay into a mold. This is a, it's called a cotton press mold. I ordered it off Amazon when I was looking for a carousel horse. And it's just um, so great. I just love this. I, I make a piece of clay out of whatever I want to make it out of, depending on what that is. It could be mokumegane, it could be from a stencil, uh, it could be from marbled clay, um, old clay canes uh, and I make a sheet and then I lay that in here and press it in and then I fill in the back of that with some dirty clay is what I call it. It's clay that you wouldn't probably use for much of anything else. And then I make sure that I trim it just very evenly across the back and and then I put, <clears throat> excuse me, then I put another uh, sheet of clay over that and trim that as well making sure that I have uh, a nice back on, um, on the back of the horses. So I'll show you just a few of these. It won't take but a few minutes to show you, I think. Um, these I added, there were several that I added some glitter to. Now this was uh, a stencil that I used. You can tell that pretty easily. I want to show you what I'm talking about with glitter glue. I'm sure you know anyway, but this is what I use. It's just the... Uh, Creatology that I bought at Michael's and you can get them in the big containers or you can get them in some smaller containers as well. And they're not very expensive so that's kind of nice too. And I just wanted to add a little pizzazz. Uh, you know how carousel horses look on a carousel. They're, they're kind of um, sparkly and kind of done up pretty. So that's, that's a stencil that I used for this one. This, I believe, <clears throat> excuse me, was some marbled clay that I had that I rolled out. And this was an old cane that I used. Um, I rolled out a piece of black and then I put some pieces of the old cane, I don't know if you can see, they kind of look like a windmill, on there. And then I rolled it out again um, in my pasta machine. And then I just uh, used that to press in. Um, and when I press them in, I want to say that I use, uh, let's see here, let me show you. And you know what these look like anyway. But I use a blade to shear off the extra. And then I fill it in with other scrap clay or dirty clay is what I call it. Okay. So those are those two. And this was an old, old cane as well. Uh, I should show you the backs of these. There's the back of the that horse. There's the back of that one. And that's a little bit of a different back on that. I don't want to get the glare. Anyway, this one was um, a rose cane that I had left over from a long, long time ago. And uh, then the back, I ran it through the pasta machine and it stretched out the roses, but it still looked pretty, so I used it. So those, those are those four. And I will show you, um, oh, I was going to show you two of them that I, um, I was trying to figure out how to hang them. And so what I did was I just put uh, a chain um, on them 
and I drilled holes right here and right here and they hang really well this way and you can use them uh, for a Christmas tree or to hang on a wall in a child's room or whatever you want to do with them but I thought too if um, if you wanted to make these for Christmas you could drill holes down here and hang a little Merry Christmas banner down there too if you wanted to you could do so many things with these things but like I said uh, the trick isn't pushing them into the mold the trick is making your clay the way you want it to look before you um, press it into the mold and then that's the back of that one. Now this one, um, Patricia Roberts Thompson had done the napkin technique and so I decided I, this is the first one I made and so I was going to use a napkin for that. So I, I pressed some clay into the mold and then I, once that was done, then I took this uh, napkin and I put it, put it over it. And I actually used, uh, what is that called? Mm -mm -mm. It is called Mod Podge, yes, uh, Mod Podge on it. So that was a beautiful napkin. And as you can see, I added some glitter to that, and I put a different background on that one. This one is a lot heavier. You know, when you do things, the first one that you do is really a trial and error thing. This is the only one I did with the napkin. But the more you do them, um, hopefully you get a little bit better as you go along. Uh, let's see, let's bring some other ones out here so you can see these. And all of these have uh, glitter as well. <clears throat> this looks like it was maybe marbled. And then I put a just a solid back on the back. But I, I also, also put a texture on it. I think that's important to have the back look nice. And this one I used a stencil. Can you see it? It's got numbers on it. I really like that one. And then a different back. And this is a brown one. You cannot see this very good. It had a stencil on it. And it ended up just turning a little bit too dark for me. Uh, but if you look at it, you can see the stencil here and there. But it's a pretty horse, too. This was a Mok Mokumegane piece of clay that I did. And very colorful. Okay. I All I've been doing lately are the horses and the bowls. Uh, let's see. I'll grab some more here. And this one. Okay. Hopefully I've got those all in pretty good. Um, let's do this. You can see those. Uh, this little, this is rather purple. It it had um, it had a print on it f also from one of my rubber stamps, and you might be able to see that a little bit of a, over here. But um, when I stretched it out, it kind of disappeared a little bit. So that's the back. And I used a little pearl X to make my initials show up a little bit on some of these. This is again um, pearl X powders. And I did him a little bit differently. I, I liked all the colors on him, so I didn't put as much glitter on this guy like as I did on this one. And he had a different back as well. And this was also um, a rubber stamp. And maybe you can see it looks almost looks like palm leaves right there, right here. So that was a rubber stamp. And that's the back of that one, the green back. And this was another stamp. This is really a, uh, just a really beautiful stamp that I used for that one. A little bit different back. A little Pearl X powder on that one. Move those out of the way. And I think I have two more that have glitter on them. Then I've got some that don't. Um, this one I really like too. This was a. Um, a stencil that I used. Can you see the dots on it? So he has some dots on him. And then there's the back. And this was another stencil. Before you put it in the horse, of course, um, you have to wait for, if you use some paint, you have to wait for it to dry. Um, Pearl X powder, you know, you have to just be very careful when you put it in into the mold but it works. It works really well, actually. 
So I'll put those over there. And then I'll show you some of the ones that, uh, let me show you these first. These are going to my in-laws, my one brother-in-law um, and my two sisters-in-law. This is for one of my sisters-in-law. This is for my brother-in-law. And this is for my other sister-in-law. And these are, um, and I've showed, shown you these before, but these also are uh, taken from their father's ashtray, the design. Um, his ashtray had a design on it, and I cleaned that ashtray up, of course, before I used it. But um, I just thought I would make them each a, um, a wall hanging out of out of some clay for them um, of the ashtray, and then I had leftover uh, leftover clay, and so I decided, well, why not make them a carousel horse as well? So I did that. Um, this is uh, that was marbled, I believe. Yeah, that was marbled clay blue, in blues and then just a solid back. And this was, um, I think I made some stripes on this one, it looks like. But I did not put any um, glitter on these. Some of them I just didn't want to put glitter on. And here's this one. And the pretty back on that. So those are those. And I just have a few more to show you here. Let's see if I can get them all out here. This was a stencil, and you can see the pattern pretty well. I really like that one. Can you see it? That held up really well when it was being pressed into the mold. And here's the back. Um, and this was another stencil. And there's the back. And this is some marbled clay, it looks like. I'm trying to remember as I go here, as you can tell. And the back. And this, I had marbled clay, but then I also had a stencil over it, if you can see that, so it has a print. And obviously these do not have any glitter on them. And that's the back of that one. And I have one more I was gonna show you over here. This is the last one. I love this print. Love this print. It's so pretty. Um, so that's that horse. And the back. Let's see what I do on him. Oh, it looks like a Mokumegane on here, on this one. And because I had leftover clay of this, I, I decided to go ahead and make some uh, necklace pieces. And then I also have some earrings. Those turned out really pretty, though. If you can see it. And then on the back I stamped with my initials and make a diff made a different back on them so you can see texture on that too. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed just kind of seeing what I was up to and I hope the rest of your Sunday afternoon is really relaxing. Uh, we took my husband's mom to church this morning and then out to eat and just got home a little while ago so I just thought I would take care of uh, showing you the horses because I promised. And I will see you Friday for uh, Granny J. Clay, and I will make something out of clay that day. And then I will see you tomorrow evening, or probably during the day sometime, for Granny J. Say. So um, God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday afternoon, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.